The latest COVID-19 outbreak continues to make alarming inroads across the United States. According to reports, fresh COVID-19 cases in America have rebounded to more than 100,000 a day on an average, returning to the levels of the winter surge nearly six months ago. With this, the daily national caseload has now jumped to its highest numbers in over six months. This rate is nearly five times higher than it was a month ago. The rise in numbers coming amid a surge in highly contagious Delta variant cases. According to reports, seven American states with among the lowest COVID-19 vaccination rates, including Florida, Texas, Louisiana, are the worst affected as a result of this latest outbreak. These states account for half of the country's new cases and COVID-related hospitalizations. Almost 135,000 weekly cases were reported in Florida on Friday, a record for a state that makes up about one in five cases in the U.S. Meanwhile, in Louisiana, authorities said 1% of its entire population had been infected in the last two weeks. The country's top infectious disease expert, Anthony Fauci, meanwhile, has said that efforts are underway to give the citizens with weakened immune systems booster shots to help prevent further escalation of the crisis. Despite the U.S. reaching a commendable milestone of fully vaccinating more than 50% of its adult population, the growing vaccine hesitancy in the country continues to spark fears among the experts. 99% of all the individuals that I see that are hospitalized are all unvaccinated. I will say that there is a level of distrust of either the medical profession or certainly of uh, politicians um, amongst those individuals. And you know, I think the most unique thing is that if you watch media coverage, you're led to believe that this is all a phenomenon of uh, Republicans, or you're led to believe that this is a phenomenon of Democrats. And in between that, there's some sort of fight related to personal liberty. And what I find most interesting is a dichotomy that, in fact, I see both populations in the intensive care unit, and those are unvaccinated people. That is the common thread. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.